Hello everyone, how are you? I am your teacher Jem Raymond and today we will continue our discussion on your lesson 2 of your module 6 in Mathematics 6. This is entitled Performing Experiments and Recording Outcomes. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel tutorial by Sir Raymond. My name is Mr. Jem Raymond Ischen, Master Teacher 2 from Escalante Central Elementary School. Click like and share if this video tutorial helps you. Don't forget to click subscribe below to keep updated for my future tutorial. For your suggestions, especially on the topic for my next tutorial, please leave your comment below. Hope you learned something in my video lessons for this week. Thank you so much for watching. Stay home and stay safe. Let's discuss the what's new and the what is it part of your module. Now let's analyze this problem first. Two coins are tossed at the same time. Record all outcomes that the coin can land. So this time class, dalawa na ang coin na ginamit natin in tossing. So what is asked here is to record now all the possible outcomes that the coin can land. So, paano natin gagawin ang activity na to? In dealing with probability class, it is very important to identify all the possible outcomes. Kinakailangan marunong tayong mag-identify ng mga possible outcomes in a certain event. A list of all possible outcomes of an activity or experiments is called sample space. Sample space ang tawag natin class sa lahat ng mga possibility na makukuha natin in performing a certain event. There are common ways that can be used in recording possible outcomes in an experiment. So let's solve the problem given earlier. So we have here two coins being tossed, right? Now, so paano natin i-record yung possible outcomes na pwedeng mangyari while we toss the coins. So to do that, let's consider this. So we have here the possible outcomes of the first coin. So sa una pa lang na coin class, pwede tayong makakuha ng head at saka tail, di ba? For one coin pa lang. Now, this is now the possible outcomes naman for the second coin. So, sa isang coin, pwedeng yung head, pwede ang kaparis siya ay dalawa. May head at saka tail. May possibility kasi yan class eh, di ba? So, yung head ng isang coin, pwede ang isang coin naman may head at saka tail na pwedeng outcome or pwedeng lumabas in tossing the coin. Sa tail naman class ng isang coin, pwede ang paris niya ay head at saka tail. Okay? Now, so this would be the final outcomes for our tossing of coin. The first one is head to head. So, sa isang coin head, pwede ang paris niya ay head din. Sa isang coin. Take note, dalawang coin ang ginamit natin for this activity. So, pwede ang result head and head. Next, pwede ring head yung isang coin, tail naman yung isang coin. So, that's another possibility, di ba? Next. Yung isang coin is tail. Pwede din yung isang coin ay head. So, another possibility din yan. And of course, pwede ring tail and tail ang lumabas. So, this one are all the possible outcomes in tossing two coins. So, how many possible outcomes do we have? Yes, very good. We have four possible outcomes. Yung possible outcomes na yan class na nakuha natin, ang tawag natin dyan ay sample space. Therefore, there are four possible outcomes when two coins are tossed and these are head and head, head tail, tail head, and tail and tail. So take note, H here stands for head and T here stands for I hope you understand already what does this diagram mean. This could be found also on your module. Now, let's consider this activity. If you are to be asked to perform an experiment to toss the two coins 20 times and record all possible outcomes, then making a table can be used. 
The table below shows how to record outcome in an experiment. So, so in this table class, we have here the four possible outcomes. Na identify natin ito earlier. So we have an outcome head and head. So these are the sample space. Puedering head tail, puedering tail head, and puedering tail and tail. Pwede nating gawin itong experiment. Kung ano sa mga outcome dito, ano sa mga sample space ang lalabas during your experiment. Ang gagawin natin, 20 times na ito toss natin ang dalawang coins and after that, we will tally the outcome based sa experiment mo and then we will have the frequency here. Again, yung frequency class ay yung total number of trials in which the outcomes occurred. Okay, now, if you toss two coins, then Example, ang lumabas ay head and head. So, dalawang head ang lumabas. So, you make a tally. One tally for head and head. Next, another toss. Then, ang lumabas ay tail and tail. So, record that one. And also, next is tail and head ang lumabas. Record mo din yan. And so on and so forth. So, let me show to you sample tally of outcomes in a certain experiment. Yan, itali mo lang yung mga result when you are tossing two coins. So again, that would be 20 times. Yan. Okay? Kapag umabot ng 5 class, pwede mong gawin yan. No? Isang bundle para madali siyang bilangin. Yan. So, let's have now the frequency. So, we have now the frequency 5 for head to head. So, limang beses lumabas ang head to head na outcome. Same also sa head and tail. Okay, limang beses din siya na lumabas. Pwede ring yung tail at saka yung head. Okay, ang lumabas, four times siya. And then tail and tail, we have six. So all in all, we have 20 lahat. Baka naguluhan kayo yung head at saka yung tail dito. Yung first na nakasulat class ay ang yung first coin. Yung second na nakasulat dito ay yung second na coin. Okay? So, magkaiba sila. Let's proceed to the what's more part of your module. Now, direction, make an experiment by rolling a die 50 times. So, record the outcomes by completing the table below. So, again, you are to perform this experiment at home. And then, you record the outcomes on your experiment. Okay? But then, for your guidance... I will show to you sample result for this activity or for this experiment, okay? So your answer there may vary on the examples that I'll be showing you on the screen. So ito yung sample ng ating die class, okay? So sabi dito, iro-roll natin ito ng 50 times. So again, after performing uh, this activity, so this would be the sample tally of outcomes Now, if we roll a die 50 times. So again, so this shows a sample tally for uh, rolling a die 50 times. So it's very easy lang, di ba? Yan. You just roll a die class and then you record the outcome uh, just like this. Okay? So, ito yung mga frequencies niya. So, all in all, 50 times yan. So, again, for number 1, we have 8, meaning yung 1 na number lumabas siya ng 8 times. Number 2 naman ay 13 times. Yung 3 is 6 times. Yung number 4 ay 10 times. Yung 5 ay lumabas 8 times. Yung 6 naman ay 5 times. So, if you are to add all of this, then that would be equal to 50 all in all. Okay? This is only a sample, a result. Okay? So, again, you can perform your activity there at home if you want. Okay? This time, let's have the what I can do part of your module. Now, direction, prepare pieces of papers of equal sizes. So, ito yan class, sample. Dapat yung mga papel na prepare mo ay pareha ang sizes. Then write the names of your subjects on each paper. So we have Filipino, English, Math, 
Science, ESP, EPP, MAPI, and Araling Panlipunan. Place them in a box and randomly pick one. So, ilalagay natin yung mga papel na yan sa loob ng box and then we will randomly pick it one at a time. Okay, after picking a paper, record it in a, the frequency table. Return the paper you pick in the box pagkatapos mong ipick yung isang papel tapos pagkatapos mong i-record yung results sa, sa frequency table. Ibalik mo yung papel nga na bunot mo sa loob ng box. Then, repeat the same process 15 times. Okay, again, your experiment there result may vary on the sample result that I'll be showing to you later on. So again, ilalagay natin yung 8 na pieces of paper inside the box. Pick one at a time and then do this 15 times. Okay, katulad din sa ginawa natin earlier. So this is the sample frequency table. So this is a sample result of this activity. Just observe okay, how we tally the result. Okay, so again, we are picking a paper wherein each paper has a subject. No? For Filipino, we have two times. No? Dalawang beses siya na bunot. Yung English, one time lang. Yung science, three times lang. Yung math is three times. EPP, two times. ESP, two times. Araling Panlipunan, one time. And MAPE, one time. All in all, we have 15 times. No? naginawa yung activity. So, this is a sample result for this activity. This time, let's have the assessment part of your module. Pero, ikaw na muna yung magpe-perform ito, pati yung additional activities part of this module. Okay? And your time starts now. Hanggang dito na muna ang ating discussion class. If you want to watch the next part of this video lesson, pwede mong i-click yung link na nasa itaas. Okay? Thank you so much. Keep safe everyone.